Hello, boys and girls, my name is HotzoC and welcome back to Beltless Factorio, where last time we built this monstrosity of a nuclear reactor, but uh, we still need to supply the fuel. And as you can see here from the chests, we are not doing that in the conventional way, because in this series we are not using belts, not using logistic robots. So basically that means the, we will have train station here somewhere on this side, uh, or more precisely two train station. One for unloading the fuel cells to put in, but then also pick up station for the used fuel cells. And as you can see, the outer lines, those are for the used fuel cells. So uh, what we probably need is a bit more landfill because we want to get the used fuel cells together and the unused fuel cells. So that can be a bit tricky um, and will definitely be not the most efficient way uh, because we will need to use long-handed inserters which are slower but then this reactor does not need a uh, high throughput of, of the fuel. Another thing that we want to consider is does our train station come from the top and go to the bottom or the other way around. And if we look here, we will probably have a connection from here to there. And if we look down here, there is the the line on the inside um, that's going west to east so I think we will come in from bottom and go out to the top. This then also means that we have the unloading station at the bottom and the loading station for the used fuel cells at the top. So let's just add a bit more landfill here. And I think what we do here first is have this and then that okay that goes that way and then we have something going up there and then here we can continue this way and then let's see yes that works out nicely we can make those jets like this stack unloaders and we probably want to ensure that all these chests uh, can only contain one stack uh, but that's basically it what we what we need um, so let's add a bit of land there and do the same thing towards the top and run out of landfill uh, we also need a bit more down there Uh, 
but we can at least place this station that's um, uranium fuel cells delivery um, and we mark them with a nice icon um, we will also need power here and then a bit more landfill and a bit more rail and we probably also need to see how far up we need to go in order to uh oh yeah here we probably want a bit more uh we don't need a curve we want to have a straight line and basically signal there Let's let's have a, a whole train line going there. So let's copy this to those and then let's make a copy of this set and copy this forward. right and here we will have the loading um up here probably want steel chests that are not limited right and that's then used uranium fuel fuel cells loading all right Take that away and then have at going up to there and have a signal there before joining we don't need signals here in between because we will only have one train making making that route so uh, but also down here we need to make the connection and we saw we need a bit more land there make signal here and we probably also should have signal there right and also need to hook this up with a bit of uh, power everything is powered everything is powered all right and then let's jump over to this train because this train train fueling delivery used fuel cells pick up uranium fuel cells then uranium fuel cells delivery uranium fuel cells delivery 
uh, there we want to have empty cargo and then pick up uh, used uranium fuel cells loading um, there we will have full cargo or inactivity for two minutes because we will probably not need that many and that should do it however what i want to check down there we noticed last time um when we looked at uh, at the uh, fuel cell production that maybe it was the orb we don't have the optimal setup because not all the uh, centrifuges are centrifuging meaning we have suboptimal uh, processing and uh, maybe we can fix that Ooh, that was a close one there you can see uh, we are not stocking up here um, so what I think we do is we say here um, as soon as there are more than 10 of the light green um, uranium cells in here you can put them in here and craft some fuel cells otherwise this thing goes through this this loop and eventually that will fill up and it looks like the train went up there yep Ooh. that means we probably need a radar up there yeah let's go up and place one and then we should see the reactors coming online producing a bit of uh, steam filling up the uh, filling up the tanks and then stop again but then at least we know it is working all right so let's actually place a radar here and also at the uh, outer end maybe here what do you mean ah oh. curved the wrong way yeah that's of course not so good for pathfinding but something that can be fixed and there the train goes again so then let's let's see we are heating up we have water in here we have water everywhere come on sometimes tricky to get out here and here we are already at uh, max temperature 
our max needed temperature. So we should soon see the first one. I would assume that being those two uh, starting to produce. Also here we are close there but if we manage to get to all the ends at least 500 degrees then we are good and it looks we have the first steam we are producing there a bit What did I limit these? 500k. So it will take a bit uh, until we are there, 10% there. Um, and I would hope. that if we have enough steam and maybe with, with this size of, of a reactor this could be a million let's copy that over because it was a uh, was a million liters in there we have um, higher pressure in the in the tanks um, so that should should help nice down here all the ones are producing up here not so much it's a bit astounding because uh, basically the lower and the uh, upper part should work the same and we can produce up to 1.7 gigawatt of uh, power I think that should be enough at least for now so the next item on the agenda is figuring out what's wrong with our research so let's head over there quickly and do an analysis so we know what we need to do in the next episode what we can see here is that most trains are here at the science lab but we are missing one and the one we're missing is military science so let's look at the map what might be the cause the train is there but we don't get well, apparently we get deliveries, but we get deliveries here. Um, and that's just not good because I assume that the train will come in here, deliver, leave, and then the next train, assuming uh, we manage to get the walls out, will go there again and we do have one train making making the round uh, currently the train could come in here
And I'm not sure. If this is set up correctly. Because I would assume to only get a signal. And there we can see the train entered this station instead of the of the top station there. So maybe we will what we could think to do is come up with a with a way uh, to enable and disable these stations based on the amount of items that are waiting at the corresponding pickup so that way we would then probably see okay on this train we're missing goods here uh, we don't have that many there idle so let's enable this station uh, and not this one uh, or more precisely on this one we could see ooh, our steel chests here are full so maybe not deliver to this stations try the other one uh, so Why don't we have the same problem for other stations? It can't be. Here we also have only one train delivering. And by the looks of it, we have the same problem. We have one train sitting here, but all the deliveries are going in here and piling up on these two stations so that's definitely something we can try to fix next time hope you enjoyed this one and uh, join me next time when we fix science hopefully